Hi guys, it's Vicki, me love Bono. It's Tuesday, October 29th, 2013, and I want to share some layouts with you. I have the morning to myself. Yeah, my husband's sleeping. He has to work late tonight. My son is at work, and then he's going to Missouri to visit a friend, so I've got a few hours by myself. What am I going to do? What else would I do? YouTube videos. Anyway, let me give you the story behind the pictures. This is my son, Eric, in this photograph. He'll be in all the photographs, of course. And he has a friend who works for an airline company. That airline as most of them do, allows him to have a couple of friends he can put on his list, and that friend gets to fly for extremely discounted prices. Well, that friend this time around was my son. It's just so cool. I mean, a couple of times they have just flown into New York City like in the morning at 7 o'clock, they stay all day, and then fly home at 10, 11, 12 that night. But a round-trip ticket only cost him, my son, like 40 bucks. So it's a great thing. Now, unfortunately, my son's friend lives in Cleveland, and we're in Cincinnati. That's about a, it, that can be a five to seven hour drive, actually, depending on traffic. So sometimes, well, all the time, they have to fly alone and then just meet up at their destination point. Well, this particular set of pictures and layouts were from photographs taken on his trip to Galveston, Texas. And the reason they came up with Galveston, my son had just went through a, a, a bad relationship and, of course, what comes after a bad relationship, a bad breakup. And even though he did the breaking up, you know how that is. It's still sad. And what's better for a breakup than the beach. So, him and his buddy decide to hop a plane, go to Galveston, Texas. Well, this is a picture of him by the seawall, and that's what all the pictures are about. Here's what happened. He hops the plane. He goes into Galveston. His buddy is put on standby. Now, they only remember, hey, uh, like, this is kind of an example. It's not the exact times, but... Like, my son and his buddy were leaving at, like, 7 o'clock a.m. They were supposed to arrive in Galveston around 9 or 10 that morning. They were going to spend that night in Galveston. And then they had to leave again to go back to work and to come back home, like, 4 or 5 the next day it ends up that his buddy was put on standby one time and the next plane left Cleveland at like noon. So he had called my son and said, listen, I got kicked to the curb or whatever it's called, bumped. So I won't be there until about three. Well, I'll be darn. He got bumped from the next plane. He, if it wasn't until 5 or 6, by the time he got there, it would have been 9 o'clock, he would have had to turn around and leave the next day at 4 or 5. So, he ends up canceling, and my son is already in Galveston. Now, let me tell you something. I don't think that was the entire truth. I got wind that a girl 
that he's known for probably five or six years now was actually in Galveston for vacation and he was going to visit with her. I don't know why he didn't tell me and he doesn't need to tell me everything. Um, when he told me that his buddy didn't make the flight, I was actually more worried about him being there alone. So I wished he would have just said to me, look, Nikki is here with her family or Nikki's here with vacation. So I will be hanging out with her. He's never admitted to that. Why? I don't know. But that's the story. So the reason I'm telling you that part is because of the layouts, especially this one. Let's go to what you're probably here for anyway is the layout and structure and products around the layouts. As you'll see, this is on craft cardstock. This particular cardstock, you know, every one of them is so different. This is actually Java something or another, Java Bean by Basil, and it's very textured, and I always pick this up at Joanne or Michael's in their singer, singer, single paper slots. I love it. It's my favorite craft card stock. The banner is Heidi Swap. You'll see I layered here. This is some of the brown paper bag type of paper from Studio Calico. I took my little zigzag scissors, you know, those those ones that we all have that we probably bought the first week we're scrapbooking, and cut the top to make it look like a bag. I even uh, cut the bottom. Remember I said I'm going to start to use my products more. Uh, let's see. There's some... Um, is it? I think that's just tissue paper back there. I forget. And then back here is tracing paper. You can buy tracing paper at craft stores, art stores for like three to four bucks for a big tablet of it. And it works great for layering. This paper is from the pier, as is this. I do not remember, guys, what collection this is from. Uh, here's one of the Prima camera metal clips. These are little craft uh, picture holder thing, picture corners. This font is called Cordial by, you know, Thickers, of course. You see my little flare button? That is a two peas in a bucket exclusive. I do not know where that picture or die cut of a camera came from. I'm sorry. You're going to see that there's a little metal clip on the camera and it's an airplane. I picked that up from StudioCalico.com. You can get like five or six of them for a dollar. These little gems on here, the bling, is from Recollection. And all the wood is from Studio Calico Wood Veneers. This is Maya Road Corrugated Potty Shapes. And the reason I told you that long story about, you know, him saying that he was by himself, but I think there was a girl here... I mean, you know, I said, who took this picture of you? And he said, a stranger. I was like, you look a little too happy and relaxed for that to be a stranger. And so you'll see down here, I put a girl and a boy figure. And then I put a little question mark on the girl. Now, that's just my sense of humor. These little stickers are Tim Holtz. They they came in this little booklet type of thing, like a little, almost like a matchbook cover type of thing. And Donna, who is Scrap Challenged here on YouTube, sent that to me in a rack 
Thank you, Donna. It was just perfect. You'll see I outlined things or matted it with the black because of the black background. This is him at the seawall in Galveston, and that's the pier, which is like an amusement park in the background. I think that's everything. You see this little star that I put in the camera? That is those puffy shapes from mm, American Crafts. And, you know, it could be from Recollections because they had puffy stamps. And that's the story of that layout. That's the products, and I'll zoom in real quick. You'll see the title is also poking a little bit of fun at him. And it says, Moonlight for one. And I want to put a question mark there. And then I just wrote, no, I didn't write that in. That's some kind of cheapy stickers. Anyway, it says, Moonlight for one. Roll in my eyes. The Seawall, Galveston, Texas. These little bling were so cute and just perfect for this layout. Can you see the paper clip? I love those. I'm loving these acetate banners by Heidi Swap. See how I cut the paper at the bottom? I mean, to use those old scissors, I, I was so proud of myself. And that's the man with a plan. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is my next layout. Once again, the Galveston trip. And I'm actually making him a photo album of all his travels. Now, I was just going to put in his travels from this year being on the buddy pass but I think I might go in there and, and go on and throw in some layouts from like his first trip ever which was to Florida when he wasn't even a year old and then other trips um, maybe just the layout or two of each area and I really need to show you the scrapbook album I'm going to use it is a Becky Higgins Project Life D-ring binder and it's awesome so I hope I remember to show that to you it actually looks like a map on the outside I so wish I could remember what paper this is I think it is the pier but I am not sure, and I sure do love this paper. If I can find out for you, I'll put it here on the screen. You'll see it. I used washi tape up here. This paper is from an old Studio Calico collection, I think, here and there. This, oh, I did this so long ago. I'm... Sorry, I can't remember what it is. Again, if I remember, which I usually do the minute I stop the video, it'll dawn on me. But if it does, I'll put it, the name in here on the screen. I use these little uh, breads. And once again, couldn't tell you what they're from. Don't know the name of the thickers. This... Oh, I know what this is, Kelly Perky, and I colored it in with the Ranger Distress Ink tea dye. I used my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch to punch out my little tab tops. I used my Studio Calico uh, stamper thing that Donna sent me. Thank you again, Donna. For this, it says on the go. This is just an office date stamp I used. Um, this paper here. Gee, I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I just hate when I do that. These stamps were part of a set that I picked up from a cherry on top. Or... One, two, three, stitch. But I found this stamp set 
by just going to different websites and typing in tropical and beach stamps. I did a little journaling over here. I uh, ran some ink around the edges of my paper and that's that. This is the shoreline. He was standing out on this rock thing that was out in the water looking in at the shoreline and it was just beautiful. So let me zoom in. I really apologize for not knowing the products better. And did you ever hear the song, I joined the Navy to see the sea? And what did you see? We saw the sea. <laughs> That's what came to mind when I was looking through some of these pictures. And I'm scrapbooking so many of them. Listen, I was getting a little hard up for titles. So that's the title. And what did we see? We saw the sea. Let's go to the next one. Now... When I'm making this layout right here is about the time that I had my little meltdown and I was like, I have got to start using more products on my layouts. I just tend to make my title the biggest embellishment on my page and I, I got to stop doing that. Anyway, this background paper is from the Swagger Collection by Basic Gray. I stamped this out using a stamp by American Crafts and the, the banner is what I'm talking about and I don't remember the name of the stamp set but it's a little one probably like four inches high by two inches wide and if you type in pinwheel clear stamp set this will probably pop up because that was the big selling point in the stamp set it has a stamp of a pinwheel happy birthday sentiment and this cute little border stamp now the border stamp is only three of these so i just made it several times and there you go the this is the kenzie font thickers this is the gray this is Studio Calico. This is also Swagger. Um, did I sew that? I, I don't need, I can't tell. No, I didn't. I think I just glued it and then, you know, ruffled it up a little bit. And this is my son on the beach. And it says, be a lifeguard or just act like one. This kid, he has always been fearless when it comes to water and once again like I told him I would rather know you were there with someone than to sit here thinking you're down there by yourself swimming in the ocean and by then as you can see the lifeguards are gone I guess but anyway when I saw this little lifeguard shack it's the one thing that came to mind be a lifeguard or just act like one Oh, I stamped this using um, Stampin' Up Blue Ink, but what is the name of it? I think it's Navy, and I forget what this is, guys. I'm sorry. If you really want to know any of these things that I'm forgetting, if you private message me, I'll do the very best I can to find out what the name is. I love this Kenzie font. You see, I just made that banner myself. No template or nothing. Amazing, huh? And there you go. Let's get to the next one. Once again, it's Galveston Beach. This is the pier. And he took this great picture. 
I've always wanted a picture of a Ferris wheel from that angle, so when I spotted this, I was like, yes, I can't wait to make that layout. Um, this background, I think it is either American Crab. Now, I know this background is uh, either Amy Tangerine or Dear Lizzie. It's definitely American Crafts. And then this background, I think, is Ellie's Studio. These little tickets I cut from October Afternoon Midway Collection. The hearts were actually, I fussy cut them from L Studio or Lily B Designs. Once again, if you really got to know, ask me, I'll find out. This, all of these things are from the Peer Collection. This sentiment and these stamps, this stamp, that and that, is from TPC Studios. Judy Bakes 22, are you watching? That's the stamp set that you picked up for me and sent me with that beautiful rack. Thank you again so much. This down here is Allie Edwards, Technique Tuesday. This is Mini Market. Stickers love Mini Markets. Mm -hmm. Studio Calico Stars. And I used VersaFine Black Onyx Ink to stamp. Now let me zoom in. Whoa! Oh, look here. I'm glad that happened. The background paper is the Ready, Set, Go collection. Amy Tangerine. And, and I sewed in, I sewed the uh, little banner on here. I'm glad that fell over now. And I kind of just, when I went to stamp that, I put a piece of paper down on this part down here so it didn't run over. I mean, these uh, chipboard thingies were perfect for his trip to Galveston. You'll see I matted my tickets on white cardstock and I outlined the hearts what a beautiful picture now I amped the colors up by adding a little extra saturation using Picasso or Picasso why don't I learn the name of that oh and you see um, you know what I heat embossed those images. Those I did not use Versafine. I used black fine detail embossing powder, the Recollection brand. Kate, Kate, are you watching? Crafting Kate highly recommended the gold fine detail embossing powder from Recollections, and she showed a few of uh, examples. She used it like for some of her things that she used in her wedding and it was beautiful. So I went on and picked up gold, silver, white, and black recollections. Fine detail embossing powder and I'll tell you I've used the black and the gold. And Kate, you were right. That's some great embossing powder. I really, I want to be a stamper and I want to be a great embosser. I'm not too good at it. But with the right products and lots of practice, I'm getting better. Now, guys, if all of a sudden I cut off here, I didn't just hang up on you rudely my battery died i'm going to have to come back and share a few more double page layouts with you but this is my last 12 by 12. when i made this layout i was just trying to push myself make myself scrapbook my mojo oh 
my mojo needed first aid. And after not scrapbooking for almost three or four weeks, I just pulled paper out, I pulled a picture out, and I made myself do a layout. I really struggled with it, but I did pull out some of my favorite products. The background is Sassafras Last Broadcast, Sunshine Broadcast, which is one of my favorite, favorite collections. And I guess Sandra, who is O Snap Gonzo. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Isabel. Hi, Gabby. She was kind enough to send me some of her 6x6 six six Sassafras Last Sunshine Broadcast, and I am so glad that, well, you know, Sassafras is no more. The company closed. So I, I'm just, I'm going to hoard that 6x6 six six papers. I'm going to tell you that. And she didn't just, like, send me one. She sent me a dozen. But I, I just... I might, since it's small paper, six by six, I might put it in my wallet next to my picture of Nate and show people when they say, how's your grandson? I'm going to say, oh, he's just fine. Here's, here's his picture. And then this is a picture of Sunshine Broadcast, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite paper. I know I need help. I'm aware of that and I will get it. Maybe on Monday or something. Anyway, I still have to glue this down. This is a little uh, paper clip from Recollections Sunshine Broadcast. Sunshine Broadcast? Uh, sassafras. But I think that might be sweetly smitten or s some shimma shimma. Am I stuttering again? Sweetly Smitten or something like that. Also by Sassafras, I used this um, postcard rubber stamp I have. It's real big. I put that in back. I edged everything with Distress Ink Tea Dye. This is one of those American Craft Puffy Stickers. I love them. This, somebody sent that to me, I think. I'm not sure. This is a little uh, transparency acetate type of geotag from Studio... Nope, nope, nope. Heidi Swap. Her latest... Then, no? Can't be her latest because I just got this. Got that and I did this a while ago. I don't know. I don't know where it's from, but it's from somewhere. These are basic gray alpha stickers. They were white, and I dabbed them and colored them with the tea dye so they would match. These are often teak mini uh, alphabet stickers. I altered this photo a little bit in my Picasso Picasso software. You see the tape around here? I kind of did what the Pure Collection did, and I took regular scotch tape, and I know it's not acid-free, but if this lasts 50 years, I I'm good. I won't be here to worry about it, probably. Well, definitely, because I'd be 102, and even if I'm still around, I'm not going to be worried about tape, right? Anyway, I dabbed it into the tea dye ink, but first I like put it on my pants leg and made it lose most of the sticky because I wanted it to hang off. Oh, I stamped the date down here with my normal office roller stamp, August 2013. And these little tickets are from like Jenny Bolin. I've had them um, a million years. This is a little whale or, yeah, whale. Or dolphin, maybe? I, I don't know. It's a sea animal. And that came from sea, sea Calico. Studio Calico. I'm trying to rush, so I'm getting tongue-tied. You guys know this. It's the Tim Holtz film strip stuff. I love that stuff. In fact, I picked up a second one when it was like half price at Joanne. I think that's about does it. I think that about does it. That's why. 
Okay, so I think I'll just come back and do another video because we're going into 30-something minutes and I know all of you can't sit around and watch videos all day and need to have short ones. Anyway, this place really is called the Pleasure Pier. I don't know. When he told me the name of it, I was like, are you kidding me? Are you pulling my leg? But then he showed me a picture that said the Pleasure Pier. It kind of sounds like a P-O-R-N type of place, right? Oh, well. Anyway, that's that. Let me zoom in real quick. If I die out, I didn't fall off my chair or nothing. It just means my battery died. Most of that distressing is in the paper. That's how it came. I just have that on there with glue dots. I kind of hid it behind the tickets. See that writing? That was on there too. I didn't do that. There's my little office stamp. These are some great pictures. Look at the silhouette of that person walking the beach. He did a good job on taking pictures. Okay, guys. I will be back. Thanks so much for watching. And again, I'm so sorry I didn't know all the names of the products. I just hate when I do that. But, you know, ask me if you really want to know. And I'll do the best I can to... Uh, figure it out because some of these things I used were like the last pieces the last product so I'm you know my new rule trying to finish off and use things I'm just rambling I talk to hear myself talk okay guys so thanks again be back soon